Hey Pisces, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? It's been a good long minute since I have been around. I took the entire month of December off just to pull myself together, get it straight, do some revamping, some replanning, and guess what I did? I finished tarot school. I did. I have been working on, on publishing tarot school for months now, and it's out. It's now out. It's finished. It's out. There's a link in the box below that will take you to the page where you can learn all about tarot school. It's seven videos in total covering the entire tarot deck um, and um, teach you how to read the cards at the end. So yay. If you're interested, if you feel called to read the tarot, um, by all means, do check out tarot school at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box sometimes. below All right. Well. So Pisces. This reading for you for January-ish, you know, there's no real time, right, in tarot, but for those of you that need to know, January-ish. This is what's coming up in the near future, okay? In the near future for you, Pisces. All right, as y'all may know, I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So I am very much a Pisces, and I am very curious to see how this reading comes out. I've laid the cards out and uh, pulled all the clarifying cards, but I'm not real sure what the story is yet, okay? Because I need to sew it together. All right, so Pisces, buckle up, okay? Buckle up because there is some communication coming into you with the Princess of Swords. Communication, okay? To, I wanna point out, the Princess of Swords is also formulating a thought pattern, okay? to the Knight of Wands. Somebody is taking some inspired action to communicate with you. This card is dual purpose right here. Even though somebody is taking inspired action to communicate with you, this card is also indicating you formulating a thought pattern in your mind about this communication, okay? This communication is coming from the King of Wands in reverse, okay? The King of Wands in reverse tells me that this person has fallen from your good graces, okay? Because if this was some kind of brand new thing that was coming in, whether it's, it's love, family, relationships, work, whatever the situation is, if this was brand new, fresh, you wouldn't see this person as the King of Wands in reverse because this person's an asshole, okay? The King of Wands in reverse, he is. He's a classic narcissist. He's a classic dickhead. And this is how you see him, okay? So if this was coming in fresh from somebody you've never met before, why would you assume that they were the King of Wands in reverse? This leads me through process of elimination to understand that you have had a go round with this King of Wands before because they used to be somebody that was attractive and appealing. They used to be somebody that was charming and charismatic, but now you just see him as a dick, okay? So this dickhead is bringing in communication. And I want to point out this, this Knight of Wands right here. This King of Wands in reverse is coming in in the same energy that they left, okay? This is player energy. This is somebody that is not sincere, okay? They have a lot of passion. They have a lot of chutzpah, but they're not sincere, okay? So this King of Wands in reverse is bringing you some communication coming in in the same energy that they left the first time and bringing you some communication that's making you formulate some kind of thought pattern in your mind. Okay. This King of Wands in reverse is clarified by the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is dissatisfaction, greed, materialism, okay? Dissatisfaction, greed, materialism. It's dissatisfaction though, because the King of Wands is, it's, it's clarifying the King of Wands in reverse, right? You are dissatisfied with this person. You're kind of dissatisfied with the communication that's coming in from them because you see the writing on the wall. And this person is coming to you the exact same way they left and the, they left you, um, maybe not left you, but left the relationship. Okay, they're coming in with the same energy, and Pisces isn't having it. You're dissatisfied with the whole communication process with the Nine of Cups in reverse. 
the Empress. This is Pisces, right? Yeah, it's the card of Taurus and Libra, but this is representing you, Pisces. This is representing you being completely and totally in check. You have about this King of Wands in reverse. You have your mental in check. You have your emotions in check. You have your passions in check and you have your sense of security in check okay this is you receiving the communication from the king of wands in reverse like pss. i mean imagine right imagine this little guy coming to the to the empress and saying hey hey i know i screwed you over before but maybe we could talk about it again and pisces as the empress is like pss, pss, bro <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. You better have something really, really intriguing to say to me because I see you as the king of wands in reverse and I'm not real satisfied with the caliber of communication that you're bringing in to me. What are they bringing in to you? The page of pentacles. They want to manifest a new opportunity with you. They want to manifest something with you. Something. It could be the quick in and out of the Knight of Wands, if you get my drift, could be the quick in and out of the Knight of Wands. But nevertheless, they want to manifest something with the Empress, but the Empress is dissatisfied with the state of this person being in the reverse, right? The, the, the Empress sees this person that's bringing in the communication that wants a new opportunity as they're just, Pisces just dissatisfied. They're just like, Psst. I don't know. What do you, what do you, what you got to say, bro? Because, because, uh, I'm, I'm just really not, uh, not feeling this. What do you want? Right? What do you want? Major Arcana comes in with the star card. This Major Arcana is followed by this Major Arcana, the lovers, right? Now, Major Arcanas, they're not negotiable, okay? So what this Major Arcana is saying, they're saying, they, Spirit is saying to Pisces, check, is this purpose, is there purpose in this? What is the purpose behind this communication of wanting renewal? in a relationship what 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 is the purpose what's the backdrop to the lover's card of engaging in a significant relationship pisces check is there hope and faith and purpose in renewing some kind of significant relationship in your life check yourself and and make sure that you understand what's happening here Pisces comes in with the Seven of Swords and says, yeah, I know there was deception and betrayal, shady behavior, lying, cheating, stealing in the past. There was shady behavior to the Six of Swords in reverse. There's a lot of baggage between us. There's a lot of water under the bridge. There's a lot of baggage to the death in reverse, but maybe they've changed. Maybe they've had a personal transformation. Maybe they're not the same that they used to be. That's what Pisces is saying. Spirit is saying, check yourself. Check yourself. And Pisces is saying, I am. I am. I'm checking myself. But I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt for a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. I'm going to see what this is all about. I'm going to see. Ace of Swords in reverse. Spirit's coming in with the root cards and saying, you better have a little bit more clarity than you have right now. You need to get clarity in this situation. You absolutely need to get clarity in this situation. And Pisces says, yes, I, I know. I know. He's the Emperor in reverse, which is the same card as the King of Wands in reverse. Could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Aries is the fire energy. Scorpio, for me as a reader, is both the Emperor and the King of Wands, okay? And both an Aries and a Scorpio in the reverse um, is nasty. <laughs> they're, 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 they're not nice people when they're in the reverse, okay? This Emperor is about an inflexible, domineering, controlling energy, okay? The King of Wands in reverse. He's impulsive. He's hasty. He's uh, a narcissist. 
classic narcissist, okay? So Spirit's coming in and saying, check yourself. Check the clarity of this situation. Make sure that truth is being spoken here because maybe it's not. Pisces is coming in with the Emperor in reverse, which is also Major Arcana. And, and Spirit is saying, check yourself because this person isn't all that they're cracked up to be. This person has not changed, Pisces. This person has not changed. And you need to make sure that you get some absolute mental clarity about the situation. Pisces comes in with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and says, yeah, I remember. I remember the loss. I remember what happened in the past. I remember why all of this blew up in the first place. I do. I remember. In spirit, I am going to go forward in this with my eyes wide open, understanding, searching for the purpose of this of this new communication. But I am going to give them the benefit of the doubt with death in reverse. I'm going to see if they've had a personal transformation, if they've changed. Because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is loss, a huge loss, a loss in the realm of security. Okay? This is having a foundation, a future, security, um, success, and then boom, it's gone with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And that's what you are uh, evaluating right here, Pisces. You're going into this whole new communication thing 100% on point, understanding who this person is and very suspicious of what they want. What do they want? They want the Three of Cups. They want to reunite. They want to reunite and reconcile. Spirit comes in with justice and says, Pisces, Pisces, you need to make sure that truth is being spoken here, that there's fairness and honesty. Pisces, check yourself, check yourself and make sure that truth is being spoken and that this is bringing justice to the situation. Because if you don't get some kind of justice out of this, you might as well just hang it up because, because this person, like I said, they're coming in with the same energy that they left with. And Spirit is saying, check yourself, Pisces, and make sure that truth is being spoken here. Because what's on the table is the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. Make sure that this brand new opportunity is justified. Make sure that there is truth and honesty being spoken when it comes to reuniting with this person. And the moon in reverse. This is Pisces and this is repressed emotions, right? This is Pisces with their repressed emotions taking heed as to what spirit is saying. Okay, being in touch and listening to their intuition and taking heed to the warnings that spirit is giving you in your intuition and in your subconscious mind. Okay, so what we have next is, let me get myself organized. Seven of Wands is in the center of your reading. This entire reading revolves around a challenge. Okay, okay, sandwiching the challenge in the center of your reading is the King of Pentacles in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, the King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, challenge, here, let me just show you. King of Pentacles, King comes first. King of Pentacles in reverse, challenge to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, now what does this tell me? This tells me that the two of you used to be upright, right? This is stability, structure, foundation. This is being grounded. This is holding title in each other's lives. He, they, this, the King of Pentacles used to be yours. You used to be theirs, okay? There used to be a union here. But with the both of you in reverse, this means that they no longer hold title in your life and you no longer hold title in theirs, okay? This is a, two people that used to be in a secure, unified, stable relationship that are now not in a secure, unified, stable relationship at all. 
Cups, King of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is a creative block, okay? So this tells me that the masculine in this relationship has blocked creation with the Pisces in the past. Okay, they've completely blocked any creation and according to the rest of these cards have blocked communication. You have not heard from this person in a good long minute. In a good long minute. Hence, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? Queen of Pentacles upright. She set the Wi-Fi password. Her socks are on the floor and her car's in, in, the, in the driveway. But not anymore. Not anymore. Seven of Wands in the center of your reading, you are challenged. Challenged because this King of Pentacles blocked creation with you. I think that they just outright like straight up blocked you. This is a general reading. The coulda, shoulda, woulda, maybes are all I have to go on. If this was a personal reading, we'd be doing who, what, where, when, and why. How? But here, I'm, I'm limited, right? So there's challenge. This is a huge challenge for you. This communication that's coming in from this person who has screwed you over in the past. There's communication coming in and it is a huge challenge for you. The four of swords in reverse. The challenge is the lack of progress. There hasn't been anything happening between the two of you. Nothing. Zero zilch happening between the two of you. Two of Pentacles in reverse, an imbalance. Not only has there not been anything happening between the two of you, but it's been imbalanced because this person just left. To the Six of Wands, but now they want victory and progress and success. To the Tower, and this causes a major upheaval in your mental and in your emotion, possibly in your passions. It's not causing an upheaval in your sense of security because I feel like you're pretty solid here, Pisces. You're pretty solid in who you are, where you've come, and where you stand in this situation. But it definitely causes upheaval in the mental, the emotions, and possibly your passions because at one point, you were hot for this person, right? Right on. Spirit comes in and says, recognize the challenge, okay? Recognize the challenge that's in front of you. Because if you do go forward with this, there's a lot of water under the bridge with the Six of Swords in reverse, right? There's been betrayal and deception with the Seven of Swords. Shit has happened between the two of you. And now they're coming in with the same energy that they left, and they're like, hey, Pisces, hey, right? And Pisces is like, hmm. I don't know about all this, but it does cause a tower. It definitely causes a tower in those three elements of your personality, your emotions, your mental, and possibly your passions, right? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is you not holding title in this person's life. King of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. A creative block. Nothing has been happening. And I feel like this person cut you off, blocked you completely, and now they're coming back around. Princess of Wands in reverse. Frustration and delays to the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, conflict avoidance. Let's see, conflict avoidance, increased focus on goals. Okay, frustration and delays, but now there's an increased focus on goals, right? Now this person wants to talk after all of this and just leaving you hanging. Now they want to talk. Now they want an increased focus on the goal. What's the goal? Reuniting with the Three of Cups. The Lover's Card, the Star. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is just illusion, right? It's illusion. This is a card about just being overwhelmed with illusion, right? You're like, this is, this is, who do you think you're talking to? Okay. Number one, I know you. Number two, um, th th this, all the water under the bridge, it's illusion. It's fantasy to the five of pentacles because Somebody's been left out in the cold, and I, th and I think it was you, Pisces. General reading, it could go any way. God forbid. I mean, it could go any way. But they left you out in the cold. 
fantasy illusion. They left you out in the cold. Pisces is, Pisces is like, no, look, four of wands in reverse, an absolute communication breakdown. No communication happening between the two of you all this time. And then they show back up and then they show back up. The two of wands, they show back up talking about wanting to manifest a new beginning. This two of wands is Pisces looking into the future, looking into the future and contemplating if this has room, if their life, if their future has room for this, if this is something that can be sustainable in at least the interim, if not the long term. Four of Pentacles in reverse, though, says that Pisces is in lockdown mode. Pisces is like, no, self-protection, right? Total, total, utter self-protection right here. Pisces is extremely leery of what this King of Wands in reverse, Emperor in reverse person wants. They're extremely leery of what's going down here. And look, the high priestess in reverse, Pisces in reverse. See, if this was Pisces in the upright, it'd be all about following your intuition and digging into your subconscious mind. But in the reverse, it's kind of, if, especially following the four of pentacles in reverse, it's kind of the same energy. It's kind of like disconnecting and withdrawing, right? It's self-protection. It's, it's, it's shutting down, shutting down the, um, the need for you to be in your intuition and your subconscious mind because you're quite frankly you're just not open to it you're just not open to it and that's what the the high priestess in reverse is about it's about not being open to an idea communication breakdown to the ten of wands burden and struggle Okay, and I want to point out this card is also about transition, right? So it tells me communication breakdown. There has been no communication between you. The four of wands also tells me that what's on the table is some kind of transition into um, new communication and new opportunities, right? But it, it creates a burden and a struggle for you, Pisces. Um, this whole situation ever since it went bad has created burden and struggle for you. And there is talk of an ending, an accomplishment at the end of this burden and this struggle. But Pisces just really, Pisces just really isn't real sure that they want to go forward with this. Just not real sure. Prince of Swords in reverse. The whole damn thing has been just a bunch of disorganization. There's been no effort made to do anything I mean, it just like comes out of nowhere and surprises you. There's been no effort, right? Upright, this is somebody making the effort. This is somebody that is fulfill fulfilling a mental decision that they've made and moving forward. In the reverse, no, not doing it. Not doing it. No movement, no action. Stuck, disorganized right? In the thoughts, in the mind, disorganized thought processes about moving forward. And that's what Pisces is looking at. Nine of swords in reverse. Pisces thinks this is hopeless. Um, there's been no communication. There's been no engaging. And then boom, out of nowhere, they come in with the same energy that they left. And Pisces this whole time has thought that this relationship is over and hopeless and still kind of thinks that perhaps this is this is a hopeless situation six of pentacles in reverse this is one-sided right this is a one-sided situation pisces has been in the nine of swords in reverse feeling hopeless um thinking that that it was all them right that they had way more feelings for this person than, than this person has for them. And then all this communication comes in and freaks you out, right? Temperance, balance, patience, purpose. This is source coming in and saying, balance yourself, Pisces. Have some, have some moderation, right? Moderate the way that you're thinking and feeling and have some patience. Understand that everything is in divine timing and this communication that's coming into you is, is meant 
this communication that's coming into you, I think is divinely orchestrated to put you on a new cycle in your life, to put you on a new journey. Okay. And we got a whole bunch, whole bunch. Actually, I'm probably going to finish reading this entire deck of cards right here, okay? So these are the extras that I pulled out. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is lack of teamwork and collaboration. There is nothing going on here. This is also a disregard for skills, right? This person didn't appreciate you the last time around. What makes you think they're going to appreciate you this time around? To the Queen of Cups, feelings, feelings. To the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a new opportunity, okay? Pisces, this is you, the Queen of Cups, okay? You, in your feels, to the Ace of Pentacles, about the manifestation of a new opportunity with this person, in your feels. The tower in reverse, again, wondering if they've had a personal transformation, wondering if this is legit, wondering if this is real, right? In your feels, hoping that the manifestation of this new opportunity is real. Needing some strength, because you don't know if it is or not, right? Needing some strength, this is Major Arcana coming in again. Tower, Major Arcana. Tower Major Arcana saying, um, has there been a personal transformation? That's what you need to look for, Pisces. A personal transformation. Has there been a personal transformation? To strength. This is Source coming in and saying, you don't need to be strong here, Pisces. You are strong. And you are strong enough to see this through, to see what it is this person really, really is offering you. Ace of Cups in reverse. This is this is emotional repressed emotions, right? Because they hurt you in the past with the Seven of Swords, right? They hurt you and they left. And this is your repressed emotions right here. Hoping, right? Repressed emotions, look. Repressed emotions to the Seven of Swords. This is what you're repressing. This is what you have been repressing this whole time. And this is what's being brought to the surface right now. Repressed emotions about the betrayal, the deceit, the lying, the cheating, the shady behavior that happened in the past. Pisces is like, I don't know, you know, screw me over once. Shame on you. Screw me over twice. Shame on me. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Overinvestment. And so Pisces is thinking, Pisces is thinking, have they had a personal transformation or are they still shady grady, right? Will the real slim shady please stand up? Please stand up. <laughs> Eminem, if y'all don't know. Will the real slim shady please stand up with the seven of swords? Is he or isn't he? Is she or isn't she still shady? Nine of Pentacles in reverse, because in the past, you've, you've, you've over-invested in this relationship. You did. And you're very concerned about over-investing in it again, because you've come a long way. Seven of Pentacles to the devil. You're reflecting and assessing on the investment. You're reflecting and assessing on the toxicity that was before. You're reflecting and assessing on, is this an attachment that is a restriction to my personal growth? Is this person still toxic? Well, the devil being the major arcana is kind of saying, yeah. The devil is saying, Pisces, make sure you understand who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the devil. Make sure you understand that this is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. But because there's free will, you can take it or leave it. They've broke your heart in the past, Pisces. Broke your heart. Pain, grief, sorrow. They broke your heart. To the Two of Cups in reverse. They broke your heart and they broke the relationship. 
broke your heart, broke the relationship, the shady behavior of this devil broke your heart, broke the relationship. Three of ones in reverse. This is a lack of foresight, lack of planning, right? Um, I think they, they broke your heart. They broke the relationship and they left and ghosted you. That's what I think happened. They left and they ghosted you. You didn't see it coming and you don't see this coming. This happens out of nowhere. You don't see this coming. Ten of Pentacles, right? There was a lack of foresight, lack of foresight to the major L, the big, huge L, the loss that you took in this relationship. It just happened out of nowhere. King of Cups. It's a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You don't have to be. But this represents somebody bringing their feelings to you. Okay, that's what this whole thing is about is somebody is bringing their feelings to you and saying, hey, Pisces, how about another go round? How about another go round, Pisces? Perpetrating as the king of cups when in fact, they're really the devil. Two of swords in reverse, right? This is confusion, confusion because Pisces, particularly being a Pisces, we happen to see the best in people. We really do. We really, really want to see the best in people. We really want to give people the, um, the benefit of the doubt. We really want to just love people and we want people to be loved. We want everybody to be happy. We don't like confrontation. We really don't. What happens when, when Pisces is involved in confrontation? Same thing that happens when there's a little school of fish, right? Little school of fish, you throw a pebble in the water and it ripples and the fish go Poosh, and they just disappear, right? That's the Pisces initial knee jerk reaction when there's confrontation is to just disappear. Don't want it. Don't want any confrontation, right? However, however, there's some, there's some, some, mean fish out there too, right? And you keep poking and you keep poking and you keep poking at a barracuda and they're going to turn around. They're going to bite you. And that's the whole Pisces personality, right? We'd rather not. We really would rather not. But if we have to, we will, right? Right? Taurus sun. I'm the same way. Taurus is the same way. We would rather not have confrontation. We'd rather just be left alone to chew our cud underneath the tree in the sunshine and not have any backlash. But if you push, we will stomp you, right? It's the same with Pisces, right? We'd rather not, but if we have to, we will. Confusion, okay? Confusion. Pisces doesn't want conflict in this situation. They are conflicted. They don't want it, but they are. They're conflicted about this offer of feelings that's coming in. Six of Cups in reverse says unrealistic. It also talks about being stuck in the past, okay? Stuck in the past to the Princess of Cups in reverse. This is, these, both of these cards are dual purpose, okay? Stuck in the past because of the blockage of creation, right? In the upright, this is a message of creation. In the reverse, it's a blockage of creation, okay? So you're stuck in the past because creation was halted and there was no explanation about anything. This card is also about being unrealistic because of somebody's emotional maturity, right? You don't think that there is an, an opportunity to reunite and reconcile um, because it's, it's unrealistic. You think, you think reuniting and reconciling is unrealistic because of this person's level of maturity. Okay. Maybe this person is younger than you. Maybe it doesn't have to be. I've met 65 year old men that act like 10 year olds. Okay. But the level of maturity, I've met women too, quite frankly, older women that are just, um, you know, they just haven't, they have no spiritual growth. They're just empty. Right. 
So you're un, you, you have feelings of, of reuniting and reconciling as being unrealistic because of this person's level of maturity. And you've been stuck in the past because the creation stopped. It was just completely unfair. Whatever happened here was just unfair. And that's what you're trying to wrap your mind around, right? Look to the moon card trying to wrap your mind around it. This is struggling with your subconscious mind, anxiety and fear, trying to wrap your mind around it. Well, 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 trying to wrap your mind around the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is a card about breaking cycles. What you're trying to wrap your mind around is, do I break this cycle and reunite with this person? Or do I break this cycle and cut it off, finally getting some closure, cut it off and carry on. That's what you're trying to wrap your mind around. Major Arcana right here saying, oh, there is a cycle closure. There is a cycle closure. What you do with it is completely up to you. But this cycle is closing. You are going to get some closure. Whether you go into this relationship or not is free will and it's completely up to you, but it is closing. This cycle is closing. Contemplating, reevaluating, contemplating and reevaluating. Hold up. Contemplating and reevaluating the structure, the foundation, the stability of this relationship, if there even is any kind of structure, foundation, and stability. Contemplating and reevaluating the Nine of Cups, the dissatisfaction. The, the greed and the dissatisfaction to the queen of, Pen queen of Wands in reverse. Now I want to point out, as these are the exact same two cards right here. Look, way in the beginning of this reading, we had the King of Wands in reverse to the Nine of Cups in reverse, right? This is dickhead from the past being extremely dissatisfied with how things turned out. And look, we have it here again. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse to the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's the same thing you're processing that you did in the beginning of this reading, right? This person's an asshole and I'm not very satisfied with the state of being with this person, right? So contemplating and reevaluating if this person's still an asshole and if this is something that you can get over or not. Contemplating your future, Pisces, with the Two of Wands, looking down the path and trying to see if this person holds any kind of promise for any kind of future. Because remember, same energy that they're leaving, right? So can this person be in my future? Is this somebody that I want in my future? And looky there. Six of Swords comes in. This is the see ya, wouldn't wanna be ya, ain't nobody got time for that bullshit kind of card, right? And as Pisces contemplates the future, they, Pisces, you know, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm going to move into calmer waters and take this cycle change for myself. New beginning, new journey an emotional rebirth, a spiritual path, leaving the situation behind because you don't see a future in it and heading out on your own journey in your new beginning, new journey, um, taking a quantum leap, getting closure from this whole situation and moving forward. Moving forward. This particular Pisces that I'm connecting with, they don't want this. They don't want this. There's too much water under the bridge. There's too much pain from the past. And they just don't want this. They just don't. I have the whole rest of this deck. Should we go through it? We're already at 40 minutes. It's just going to repeat the same story, but I'll show you. Okay? So this is the rest of the deck, right? I flipped the cards off the top and put them all out. This is what's left of the deck. We're going to read them in order. Okay? We're going to read them in order. Hangman, card of Pisces, pausing, surrendering, um, process, pro <laughs> pausing, processing, surrendering to um, a new perspective, right? 
doing that what are you what are you processing in this card you're processing the eight of pentacles engaging building creating something with this person to the five of swords in reverse but there's a lot of past resentment a lot of past resentment to the prince of wands in reverse a lot of past resentment and no action has been taken thus far there has been no action high priestess in reverse disconnected and withdrawn there is nothing between the two of you nothing and now they want to come back queen of swords in reverse no thank you but no thank you i don't think so magician manifesting the emperor in reverse this emperor in reverse wants to manifest with you pisces this person who did you wrong wants to manifest with you four pentacles in reverse self-protection six of wands in reverse a fall from grace in a state of disrepute pisces is being extremely self-protective because of what happened in the past fall from grace in a state of disrepute there's communication that comes in that wants an energetic shift in the relationship Pisces is in the nine of swords like oh hell no I would have wanted this I would have given anything for this in the past but now not so much not so much temperance to justice spirit coming in and saying Pisces Pisces think and temper yourself think and temper yourself is there justice in this situation will this bring justice to the situation is there truth fairness is there cause and effect is there truth being spoken moderate yourself temper yourself and just don't make any harsh decisions right now Hierophant in reverse this is you Pisces releasing your limiting beliefs what are your limiting beliefs that there could have ever been any kind of commitment between the two of you you are releasing your personal beliefs about the situation reevaluating what you believe a commitment with this person might look like why because you're the Empress same as you were back here you've grown from this this relationship this pain that this relationship caused you with the three of swords has grown you and you are not the same person that you were the first go round with this person you are a different person now you are the empress you are in complete and total control of all of your faculties probably doing really really well and just 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 the boss and you just you just not so interested see sun in reverse you're not very optimistic that something like this could actually could actually make eight of swords right action movement change rebirth in your mind thinking about what kind of movement you need to take in order to change the situation all caught up in your head trying to figure out if this is something that you should do or not eight of cups just disappointed disappointed walking away just 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 gonna walk away from it four of swords lack of progress lack of progress in the situation to the king of swords in reverse has completely and totally pissed you off it's almost like a slap in the face right so they hurt you they leave and then they come back out of nowhere wanting to rekindle something with you possibly just wanting to have sex with you and the king of swords in reverse is like not only no but fuck no hail to the no 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 prince of cups in reverse because it is unrealistic for me to share my feelings with this person because i don't trust them i don't trust this person with my feelings the chariot in reverse this is the opposition this is the root this is the root of this reading you well the root of the reading is challenge with the seven of wands but the challenge is is that you cannot share your feelings with this person 
In the upright, this is somebody that's in touch with their intuition, in touch with their feelings, and ready to move forward and share those. In the reverse, it's the opposite. Completely and totally not safe in an emotional situation. You don't feel safe in an emotional situation with this person because they fucked you over before. Chariot in reverse. This is your opposition. Judgment in reverse. Ignoring the call. The hermit in reverse. Withdrawing to the world. Taking that cycle change, Pisces. You're taking that cycle change, but you're taking it without this opportunity. You're like, I'm good on my own. I am the, I have the hiccups, sorry. I am the empress. I'm good on my own. Good on my own. Ten of Swords, putting it all to an end. Bringing it all to an end. This is your cycle closure, okay? Putting an end to it and moving into the new cycle of your life. All by yourself or at least not with this person nine of wands why who wants to live in the nine of wands right it's a struggle who wants to be with somebody where it's a freaking struggle right constantly wondering about your emotions constantly being in a state of emotional insecurity who wants to do that not me that's for damn sure five of wands in reverse avoiding responsibility to the ace of wands in reverse pessimistic lack of ambition focus don't want to do it death in reverse um, this is a card about personal transformation but it's also a card about um, a fear of change right don't want to change into this major arcana the fear of change spirit coming in and saying check yourself Pisces do you really want this kind of change in your life check yourself is this the change that you want for you is this how you want your future to be in a state of emotional insecurity is this how you want your future to be princess of Pentacles in reverse Pisces says hell no not manifesting anything, not creating anything, lack of a long-term vision, not happening. Two of Pentacles. Pisces going to balance and prioritize. Balance and prioritize their own personal journey and their own personal needs. They are um, prioritizing. What are they prioritizing? What are you prioritizing, Pisces? Well, you're prioritizing your future with Prince Pentacles. As you assess, as you assess the landscape of your future, looking on down the road, making a plan to implement what needs to be implemented to make your kingdom grow, this person is not a part of it. This person's not a part of it. Loss, regret, disappointment. Don't want none of it. You've been there, done that. You got the t-shirt. See, this guy has a t-shirt on that says lost, regret, disappointment. No, I'm kidding. He doesn't. But seriously, been there, done that. Don't want the t-shirt, right? Lost, regret, disappointment, despair. Not interested because I feel like that's all that you have to offer me and I'm not interested. Ten of Cups. Good on my own. Good on my own. I have harmony in my life right now. I have friends family i have i have all of the emotional fulfillment that i need in my life and i'm not going to open the door for you to wreak havoc on my life again to the six of pentacles six of pentacles to the ten of cups i'm good i'm good actually ten of cups to the six of pentacles i am good on my own i'm giving receiving i'm abundant and I don't need, I do not need this. I do not need passionate, inspired action coming into my life from the King of Wands in reverse, who has broken my heart in the past, left me out in the cold, and I haven't had communication with you in God knows how long. And now you want to come back in? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
That's all 78 cards plus some clarifying cards, Pisces. Holy shit, we're at 50 minutes. Okay, so there you go, Pisces. That was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed. Check out Tarot School. Namaste.